And what I want to show is um, what's uh, coming up in module five as we talk about our own galaxy, uh, how we understand our the structure of our galaxy. So we believe that there's a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. So let me just center that. So that's the center of our galaxy, uh, somewhere there. <laughs> and I'll press go in a little bit. And, um, and observation of center of galaxies is actually quite difficult. It's uh, far away and there's a uh, thick interstellar gas and dust that's a block in the way. Um, but we have observed enough stars that are fast orbiting um, center that with enough mass that it could not be anything other than a black hole that we do believe there's a black hole at the center of the galaxy. And oops, I hit the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> Let me find that the, it's just showing the view of the galaxy from outside. I didn't mean to do that. Um, we'll do that as part of module five, um, where we talk about. So our own view of the galaxy is necessarily as young. So we are viewing our own galaxy from inside. So, so this is a view. Um, this is a generated view based on other galaxies we have observed. Um, let me see here. If I do Sagittarius, ah, okay, um, star. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a black hole, Sagittarius A star. That's the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. Um, and so <laughs> I'm kind of coming in from a view of an extra galactic aliens, um, not from within the so uh, from the solar system, but that's fine. So, so this is the artist's rendering of what we think is there. Does it have, oh wow, it is simulating. Um, so, okay, so this is simulating the orbit of the sun, sun's stars uh, around the uh, black hole at the center of our galaxy. So, so that <laughs> is the simulation of the, or uh, artist rendering of the black hole at the center of our galaxy. And these are uh, some of the stars that we have observed. Um, I think the, this is probably not procedural. So, uh, so we've observed the stars around this region of our galaxy and their orbital parameters to the best extent have been measured, maybe not to this precision. <laughs> and, um, and analyzing that, leads us to believe that they, that there must be so much mass at this uh, one concentrated region that it must be um, must be a black hole so 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 let's do this backward um, so let's go from the black hole to where our sun is <laughs> and uh, we'll end this with it here so we are going from the center of the galaxy to the outer edge where our sun is and the stars that are being simulated here are basically uh, made up. And because I turned off the procedural stars, it, um, there are, should be more stars here than what's shown. I'm just not showing that because <laughs> I didn't want to show procedural stars. So, so yeah, that's uh, all. Um, uh, again, uh, I think I'm ending this the same way I ended the last time. I'm taking any requests. Um, this is my first semester using this uh, simulation software. I think it's uh, great for illustrating certain things that um, otherwise would take great deal of imagination, great deal of effort uh, conjuring up the imagination to uh, think through. Um, you know, when you visualize, it's much easier. <laughs> so, so I'm taking requests. So let me know of anything that you might want to see here, especially if you can make it here in real time because if you are here in real time, you will just ask me what to do. Um, so, so yeah, uh, let me end it here. Um, I'll just say goodbye to people joining my recorded video and I don't have any real time folks at all. So <laughs> I'll end the meeting here as well. <laughs>